What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking on Georgia Tech. They're ranked number 47 in the nation. We're ranked number nine. We a top 10 team, baby. We're nine and one overall. Our only loss versus Virginia Tech. And we are perfect in conference play. Georgia Tech's record isn't as good as ours. Their rank's not as good as ours, but they're just as good, if not better, as far as talent is concerned. Holly gets the opening kickoff. I want to kick things off at the 23-yard line. So Penn going to hand the ball off to Neal in the Georgia Tech. Yellow Jackets defense is all up in our back. The loss of three. We get the ball to Neal again. Breaks the tackle, and he's loose, and he gets chopped down. Shy of the first down marker. So third down and four. Penn's going to roll out. He's going to try to pick it up with his feet, and he's not going to be able to do it. He gets brought down out of bounds. Shy of the first down marker, and Georgia Tech takes over. Quick pass to Weaver. He makes the catch, breaks the tackle, and just like that, they pick up their first first down of the game. From the 42-yard line, letting that fly down, fielding that pass, nearly intercepted by Holly. So second down and 10 for Georgia Tech. Direct snap to Eli Mimian, and he's trying to get busy, and he's going to go nowhere fast. Setting up third down and six. Go with a toss play to Miller. Miller going to follow his blocks, but Kirk is there for the stop, and they're going to go for it on fourth and two. Toss play to Miller, and he gets chopped down by Brown. He is everywhere you want him to be, and we take over at around midfield. Going to get the ball to Neil. Breaks the tackle still on his feet. And finally gets brought down at the 36-yard line in Georgia Tech territory. Bryant went right up the gut and got met in the whole loss of two. We get the ball to Neil. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage in plus two. So third down and eight. And then we play fake it. Neil just got blasted. Penn has a man open. Caught by Nicholas Williams. And we're inside the 10. Cooking with grease. Grandpa's recipe going to run the ball with Neil. He gets brought down around the five-yard line. Second down and goal. Get the ball to Neil right up the gut. Touchdown, Golden Flashes, and Stuart Smith seems a little bit banged up, but hopefully it's not too serious. And there goes Green. Green to the 40. Green to the 30. Green inside the 10 and finally brought down at the 5-yard line. So first and goal from the 3. They're going to get the ball to Miller. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. So just like that, it is 7-7. Seven, seven. Holly on the kick return gets up to the 30. Crosses the 40, gets past midfield and drop inside Georgia Tech territory at the 45. Now Penn going to run the option. Pitches it with perfect timing. Neal makes the catch and gets up field for a first down. Now the second down and 10 and Bryant coughs it up. Huge hit put on the backup tailback. He did pick up two in the process, though we do recover the fumble. Going to throw the ball to Tim Williams. He can't hang on to that pass. So fourth and eight, we're going to go for it. Penn under pressure as they send the corner blitz. And they get to him, and we got to get the ball right back to the Yellow Jackets. Miller breaks a tackle, still on his feet, running with power. He's going to pick up a gain of six. Second down and four, toss play to Miller, and we are all over that run. Loss of around three, so third down and nine. They throw it. No flags on the field, and that pass falls incomplete. First down and ten for Neal. Right up the gut, spin move, gets away from one defender, then dropped, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. So Neil is the deep back, gets the carry on first, then 10 from the 44, fumbles the football, and Georgia Tech jumps on top of the loose ball, and they take over at midfield. They toss it to Miller, trying to get up field. He gets brought down by Kirk, gain of four. Second down to six from the 46, Flynn. He's going to pitch it, and Miller is loose. He's going to get brought down by Neil, the free safety, but has a first down in the process. Play fake, Flynn. Throws it to the right side, and that gets broken up. Second down and 10 for the 26. They get the ball to Miller, and Miller weaving through traffic. Still on his feet, and finally dropped at the 10-yard line, making the 9. So first and goal from the 9. They get the ball to Miller, who was able to get through the hole with some speed. And he crosses the goal line. 14-7 is the score. Neil right up the gut, and Neil goes absolutely nowhere. Loss of one. Penn's rolling out. Looking for Bowser, who dives for it, and he pays a price. And the ball comes out in the process. So third down and 11. Penn letting it fly, and he cannot connect the dots, and that pass will fall to the turf. And Georgia Tech takes right back over again. Sanders, he makes the catch, goes down low to bring it in, and he picks up the first down as well. Miller, he breaks the tackle, gets away from two golden flashes, and finally brought down by Cameron Neal. They're going to run the ball with Miller. Miller makes a man miss. Finally gets dropped by Strong. Strong was out for a few weeks with an injury, but he's back and healthy and strong. Hill, he gets the carry, and Hill is loose. 
and Hill gets this one up inside the 10. So again, first and goal for Georgia Tech, and Miller's jumping over people and picking up a touchdown for the Yellow Jackets. 21-7 is the score. Neil, he's trying to bring us back, but he gets bottled up every time he carries the rock. Now they get the ball to Penn. Penn, he's trying to get busy, takes a nasty hit, but does hold on to the football and gives the golden flash to the first down. Gonna pitch that thing to Neil. Neil running the man over, and Neil's gonna pick up another first down. Balls at the 44 yard line, minute 40 on the clock. Penn, another option, runs the ball with Neil, pitches it to Neil. Gonna pick up eight from the 48 now, second down and two. Neil breaks a tackle, and he gets stopped right there, but does have the first down. Get the ball to Neil again up the gut. The blocking was excellent, the running was beautiful, and it's first down and 10 at the Yellow Jacket 31 yard line. Penn. Goes nowhere fast, and that leads to a gain of just one. Look like he got brought down by the face mask, but no flag. Penn rolling to the left sideline, throws it back across the middle, and it's tipped away, going to the back of tight end Turner. So Nicholas Williams on third down, has the ball thrown his way. He makes the catch, but one yard shy of the first down. So fourth to one, they're going to go for it. Penn to the 10. Penn inside the five, crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Golden Flashes, and Kent State is now up 21 to 14. Miller from the 10. Miller up to the 30 and he's going to get dropped right there. First down and 10 from the 32 yard line. They get the ball to number 32 and Miller is loose. Miller crosses the 50. Miller inside the 40 giving chases. Brown he's going to trip him up at our own 30 yard line. Toss play to Miller and this time he goes backwards. I believe that was CJ Dawson with the stop. They run the ball and again we're in there. Good penetration by the D line. Third down and 15. Flynn takes a shot deep downfield, broken up by William Johnson. And we're going to take over inside our own five, running the option. We go back two. Some second down and around 11. So make it a loss of one on that last play. And Nicholas Williams makes the catch right there for a first down. First down and 10 from the 15. Neil breaks a tackle. Can he break another? He cannot. And he picks up three on that run. Second down and seven. Penn fumbles the football. Georgia Tech jumps on top of it. Ross. Returns it to the 10 yard line, making the 11 yard line's first and 10 from there. William Johnson brings down Miller, and McCray appears to be a little bit shaken up. Second down and eight, they run the ball Miller again, breaking tackles, breaking ankles, and breaking hearts. Touchdown, Georgia Tech, 28 to 14 is the score, and we're running out of time, and our passing game has been lackluster to say the least, and our running game has been decent at best. Penn. Throwing it. That pass caught by Nicholas Williams, and he gets dropped inside Georgia Tech's 40-yard line. Make it the 36. Penn throws it. That pass broken up, and again, a receiver's getting belted downfield. Second down. 10 yards to go. They give us to Neal, and Neal takes a big hit. And now it's going to be third down. We're one for five on third down. Can make it two for six, and we do by the hairs of our chinny chin chin. First down and 10. Penn rolling out. Can he do some with his legs? He does. That's going to be a gain of five. So second down to five. Penn rolling out. Stopping. Popping. Williams makes the catch. Touchdown. Golden flashes. And Kent State isn't going down without a fight. But there goes Green again. Green to the 50. Green to the 40. Scott giving chase. And Scott's going to push him. And then we finally bring him down inside the 20. So another great kick return right there. Miller again finds a lane to run through and he sprints towards the end zone. The D-line is getting beat up literally, figuratively, every sense of the word that is happening to the D-line. Neil, weaving through traffic like a mama new hairdo, going to pick up a first down from the 40-yard line. Play fake. Penn rolling out, looking for Williams who brings it in. Nicholas Williams makes another catch and that leads to a first down. In Georgia Tech territory up to the 34-yard line, Penn's going to tuck it and run. Penn takes a nasty hit, and the ball comes out again. Murray is there for the stop, and now Murray is there for the recovery, excuse me. He does get stopped before he picks up the first down. We pick it up right there with Neil. So first down and 10. Quick pass, and that pass is going to fall to the turf. Second down and 10. Looking downfield is Penn. Looking for his man Williams over the middle, and Tim Williams takes another hit without catching the football. Penn. Quick pass to the left side, and that pass is dropped by Nicholas Williams. So fourth and ten, going to go for it. The field goal really doesn't do anything for us. And Tim Williams finally makes the catch. And now we're inside the five. First and goal from the one. Penn is in the end zone. Touchdown. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. So first down and ten from the 25. Flynn looking downfield. Avoids the rush. 
steps up, runs close to the first down mark, gets dropped by Johnson, but that's a gain of eight. They run the ball with Flynn again, gets chased down from behind, but has a Georgia Tech first down. Toss play to Miller. Miller fighting with Neal, gets away from Corey Neal, brought down by Cameron Neal. Toss play to Miller one more time, breaks a tackle, he has space in front of him, and he's going to pick up the first down. Time is not on our side. They got the football, and they're able to run the ball like this, so that's not on our side, but we do get a stop right there. Again, it's just three from the 38-yard line. William Johnson with another stop, his fourth of the ball game, third down and five. Flynn throws it, and Johnson was just not tall enough to make the play. He was in position but couldn't get his hands on the football. They throw the ball to Sanders, who makes the catch, pays for it, but does pick up three. Second down and seven. Miller gets brought down by Neal, and now looking at third down and seven. They run the ball, and they pick up the first down and more as they get inside the five. We got to burn our first timeout. Quick pass. Castillo makes the catch. 42 to 28 is the score. A minute 23 on the clock. We need a miracle. Throwing the thing deep downfield, and Charles takes a nasty hit. Our receivers have paid the price going through the danger zone with the safeties and linebackers that's tattooing them in this one. We pick up eight right there. Third down and two. Looking for Charles. Makes the catch. Breaks a tackle. And we're inside the 50 with around 50 seconds to go. We run the ball with Penn. Definitely not by design as that leads to a sack. So Penn rolling out. Second down and 11. Around 30 seconds on the clock. Heaves it to the end zone and that pass won't find its target. Third down and 11. Penn rolling out into a sack. And this thing is about over 20 seconds to go. Penn looking downfield. Throws it deep. Bowser had a step. But the ball was well overthrown. And we were ranked in the top 10, but I have a feeling we won't be ranked in the top 10 after this Georgia Tech gets their fourth win of the season. Two more wins for them, and they should be bowl eligible, but you never know. Six games will get you there if other teams don't have better records than you. You know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, we end up taking the loss in our first game as a top 10 team. That's not a good look. So are we still in the top 25 is the question Michigan is number one, USC is number two. Both those teams are undefeated. Miami 10 and 1 is number three. South Carolina number four. Followed by Oklahoma, Alabama, who just beat Auburn. Texas had a bye. Missouri, they beat Kansas State. Florida State, they had a bye last week. The number 13 team in the nation is now Ole Miss after they lost to LSU. So there was a bunch of L's. Penn State's on two year probation, and we are ranked number. 20. So we're ranked number 20. We fall 11 spots. That's kind of expected. We can't lose like that. But both of our losses have been outside of the conference, and they have both been to ACC opponents. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.